Okay, welcome to video four of the family room remodel. Today, we're doing tile floors. I've already pulled all the carpet up and the padding. There's a little bit of carpet glue laid down, so I'm gonna clean up the carpet glue and the remaining padding. I'm gonna check the floor for level, um, for flatness, really. And then I'm gonna start laying out my tile runs. All right, now that I've given the floors a good sweep, it's time to check for flatness. Now, we don't really care about the level of the floor, we more care about flatness. ANSI standards for large format tiles, which is classified as anything longer than 15 inches on the longest side, uh, requires no more than an eighth inch of deviation in 10 feet of length, and no more than a sixteenth of an inch of deviation within, I think it's a 24 inch span. So I need to sweep across these floors with my straight edge. It's a three foot straight edge, so I'm just going to be applying the sixteenth inch standard um, and uh, see what we've got. I've done a couple tests and this floor looks really flat. If the floor is not flat, you need to either apply some leveling compound, which is going to take you another day, or grind the high spots down, which can also make a big mess. So uh, it, it's looking like I might not have to do that, so that's a different video for somebody else. So it does appear that I have a low spot of about an eighth of an inch back in the corner. Since it's in the corner, I'm probably just going to use a little bit of extra um, thin set while I uh, to, to kind of fill that gap in, rather than do leveling compound for this whole section. Well, I suppose it's to be expected. Um, there was about uh, there were two little spots here, this one here and this one here, that were exactly an eighth of an inch. So those are close enough to call within spec. Now it's hard to see with the shadow here, but. There's a long trough that runs basically along the length of the door here, and that was about 3 16 If I were using small format tiles, I'd probably say it's good to go, but I gotta think about doing some leveling compound here. All right, after some contemplation, I've decided that 3 16 of an inch is too much. It's triple the ANSI recommended tolerances. So I'm gonna move forward with some leveling. I didn't anticipate doing this, but um, I think it'll be worthwhile. And since I'm documenting all this, might as well show you the right way to do it. So um, I'm using a product I got over at the local hardware store. Um, they recommended putting a latex or, a, or acrylic um, primer on the concrete first. So it just says to apply this undiluted to a concrete surface um, using a push broom to spread it out. It takes about two hours to dry and then I'm going to mix up the leveling compound and throw that on as well. So I'm just going to apply it I'm just going to make a big mess, how about that? Now if I were a smart man, I would have masked off some of the tile and some of the other parts of the house I don't want to be blue. But I am not a smart man, so I did not. So after Letting this cure for a couple days, I ran my straight edge over it, and as ugly as it looks, um, it's actually right within tolerance. It's about a sixteenth of an inch uh, from flat, so this stuff really works, and um, that means we are ready to start tiling. All right, time to start laying down tiles. I've laid these tiles out against the door threshold to get a nice flush factory cut against the door, and then I've marked where the wall kind of juts out, and so making these kinds of cuts, I find the best tool sometimes is just a uh, angle grinder with a diamond bit and um, you hide that, that kind of ragged cut underneath the, uh, what do you call that, baseboard. Let's see how that fits in. <clears throat> to get myself set up for the first couple runs, I'm going to divide this board into thirds so that I can do what's called, I think it's called a modified running bond pattern, where you have a full length board and then you have a one third length board and then a full length board and then a two thirds length board as you go and then as it runs through the room you get to see a nice staggered uh, pattern on the seams. It looks really nice. Mark one at 12 and that'll give me a 12 and a 24 and change. So I'm going to make all my cuts on a 12 and then the remainder will always be the same on the rest of these tiles. So I'm going to cut about five or six, six tiles. I usually go until I see a little bit of a mound. That's a 
that's about what you want right there, like a soupy toothpaste. <laughs> All right, I gave this another mix. There we go. So <clears throat> if you scoop some up on your trowel and you just hang it, give it just if it falls within a couple seconds, that's the consistency you're looking for. So it's time to tile. So lay down a bed with the quarter inch square notch trowel and then um, back butter each tile before you drop it on for perfect cohesion. Also run your um, ridges across the short side of the tile. That way you get all the air gaps out. Now through the magic of video editing, I will turn three weeks of back-breaking labor into 15 seconds of video. Enjoy! Instead of traditional spacers, I use these little T-shaped spacers with a wedge that helps level each tile to the next, resulting in a really nice step-free tile floor. Alright, and there you have it. That's the last course. Now, I suppose a little bit of pre-planning may have saved me from this, but I have about a half inch gap between the baseboard and the edge of this tile. And I've tried ripping a tile um, longwise, a one inch strip, and it's literally impossible, at least with a grinder. There may be other tools out there, but what I'm gonna to do to solve this problem is I'm just gonna get a piece of three quarter inch quarter round, and I'm gonna just do this entire wall strip to kind of finish it off. The next step is to grout this entire room. And I have not done a room this large. I'm guessing it's gonna be a couple days. So here's the final product. I could not be more happy with the result. Well worth the backbreaking labor. And uh, please check out the other three videos in the series. Thanks for watching.